Hey guys, Zem here bringing you a beastly $400 gaming PC. This is going to knock out of your current titles at a decent frame rate and be able to play them usually at 1080p depending on the title. Now, this is a great entry level PC for only $400, but I didn't include Windows, so you have to get a copy of that on your own, but you should be able to snatch Windows 10 for free. That shouldn't be much of an issue. Also, this does include things like monitor and keyboard, so don't forget to pick those up as well if you don't have one. And I'm going to actually put down my favorite budget accessories in the description, so if you don't have one but you need one, uh, they'll be there for you. Also, I didn't use any rebates, but most of these do have them, so you can even save some more money on top if you wish to get this under $400. To start this PC build off, I decided to kick it off with the CPU. This is an AMD Atheon X4 86K. This is a Black Edition CPU quad-core running at 3.7 GHz. Uh, it's a very solid CPU. Now a lot of you fanboys are going to say Intel is better and the way to go. I do agree with that. The architecture is better and it's just a personal favorite of mine. However, for a budget build, guys, probably the best value for that price uh, for a CPU. So I definitely had to include this in this build. Plus the motherboards that use this socket are really cheap compared to other Intel boards. So kicking that off, guys, we're going to go with the Gigabyte motherboard. This is a really solid motherboard. It does everything that you need to do. And uh, I mean, what else can you say? It will fit your GPU. It will fit in your case. And we'll get into that in a minute. So uh, yeah, $50. Can't beat that for a motherboard. Now before moving on guys, I just want to make a note that the RAM I decided to go with is the Kingston Value 4GB 1333. Now this is a really low-end RAM and it'll get the job done if you want to play titles. However, $25 is a really good price for this, but it's something that you might want to invest a little bit more money into. If there's anything that you guys want to put more money into in this build... It's going to be the RAM because most games nowadays are requiring 8GB minimum and that's becoming the new standard. So having 4GB at this low of a speed, while it will get the job done, it's something that I will uh, recommend that you do go out and uh, invest a little bit more money into this. Uh, but you can always do that in the future guys, that's the beauty of having a PC, you can always, always add your components as you go along. But enough chit chat guys, let's move on to the case. Now I actually do apologize because this will go over $400 due to the case. But a lot of people don't realize this, and I didn't realize it either because it was kind of a second thought. But I did notice it and did catch it before making this video. And that was the GPU doesn't fit in most cases that are low end, usually your $20, $30 cases. But the Roswell Redboard ATX Mitar will get the job done. It does fit with the graphics card. Everything will fit, your power supply. Uh, so there's no need to worry about that. Everything is compatible with this case. There's a $5 upgrade on Amazon right now where you can get the USB 3.0. So if you're looking to upgrade that USB, it's not much of a necessity. But hey, guys, it's $5, and you know what? You might use it in the future. I mean, the motherboard is compatible with the 3.0 USB, so you might as well get that in if you have $5. And if you guys ever decide to use the rebates, the $5 is worth it because you can make that money back. So it's a win-win in my opinion, and it'll still keep you around that $400 price point. So for the power supply, I went with the EVGA 500 watt power supply. Now this is really solid, uh, 80 plus certified with a nice three-year warranty on top as an added bonus. Now this power supply is really nice because 500 watts gives you a little bit of flex room if you ever decide to upgrade other components in the future. You don't actually have to worry about getting your power supply because it will be compatible with most mid-range graphics cards. And uh, this will power everything you need to. And for $44, again with that 3 year warranty, this has 600 customer reviews guys with almost a perfect 5 star rating. Uh, this is a solid product, definitely. Uh, you can't go wrong for that price. So moving down the line, I decided to get the Western Digital 1TB hard drive. This is a 3.5 inch SATA. At uh, 6 gigabytes per second at 7200 RPM, pretty much your standard internal hard drive, and it'll get the job done. Now, if you're looking to cut some corners and save some money, you can easily drop this down to a 500 gigabyte. Although one terabyte for gaming is pretty much a necessity, as you're gonna be installing a lot of games. And finally, for the thing that we all care about the most, and that's the graphics card. That's the Sapphire Radeon R7 260X. This is the two gigabyte model. This works very well, and. Uh, Everything does match. Everything should be in line for this. I have done my research. It'll fit in your case. It'll be powered properly. So there is nothing to worry about. Uh, this is a very solid card. It should be able to run most of your titles at no problem at 1080p. And in combination with the Atheon X4 quad-core CPU that I have in uh, this build, you should have no trouble running most newer titles as well. Probably not at 60 FPS, but hey, you guys, if you crank that down, those settings you'll be able to run at constant 30, no problem on titles like Witcher and the upcoming Fallout, Battlefront, etc. This will get the job done, so if you're looking for an entry level beast gaming PC, this is the build for you. And if you guys want more content like this, you should check out my friend Coltamush on the YouTube's description. We'll have his link to his channel. Uh, he does so many of these, all ranges. So if you're only looking to spend uh, $450, $500, even $300, he will have that video for you. 
And as always, guys, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for future video, drop that in the comment section below. And uh, all links will be in the description. Like I said, the peripherals of my choice that are value uh, slash budget, they'll also be in the description. So if you guys do want to check those out, uh, go ahead and do that.